All right, what is going on, everyone? I'm headed to a shoot with the GCR right now. I'm gonna go pick everyone up, and then we'll be on our way. All right, about to take a ride in the GCR over here. So I'm doing the photo shoot with. Break down the build. I know it's not too much. Yeah, it's stock besides uh, cold air intake, pump gas tune, straight pipes, and then an APR wing. Is it fully straight pipe though? You know it. There we go. Turn around and come this way. You get more of an effect going downhill and up. Yeah, that shit felt so crazy. I did one off camera, but I didn't expect it to be like that. I also didn't expect you to go either, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that feels fucking insane. <laughs> Yo, holy shit. That feels like a literally like a roller coaster. You really feel that. I can't get over it. Bro, honestly, I think right, you should just go like right now. Like I'll, I'll do one more run too. And I'll fucking get a video of you going by. Like you feel it in your dick. It's crazy. It doesn't even get hard anymore. Yeah, <laughs> I got fucking hard. <laughs> I wish I had a video on my face, bro. I was sitting there like this. <laughs> That's the thumbnail right there. The sunset in the back. You're definitely gonna make a tea out of this. Clips I just got, bro, with the sunset. Ooh, baby. Yeah, definitely. Way back with that lens, with the cap on it and everything. Link, link right here at underscore Jeff Taylor underscore. Follow me on Instagram. Thank you. Will's not gonna add that. Yo, Jeff, I got you. You think you got that, or should we uh, move the nice car? Holy fuck. Oh my god! Bro, that shit was close. Bro, there's a train going right now, Will. Let's go jump on it! It's the end right there, bro. I'm going. I'm taking the vlog. I'm taking the vlog. Oh, it's barbed wire, bro. It's barbed wire. Fuck. Damn it. Not taking the vlog. That train's asking to get jumped on. Y'all can't smell it, but. <laughs> How good does it smell on a scale of one to a thousand? A thousand? Can I get B rolls now? Try to walk in. On what? Stop the train, just just so I could go jump this barbed wire fence and not let the camera fucking focus. He's like, fucking try me. <laughs> he just wants, he's begging me. Honestly, he's yeah, begging me. Nice little B-roll, nice man. Nice little B-roll. Dude, these idiots don't even know how to spell, man. Thank you. I will send you all the pictures when I can. Yeah, you can send me the videos. Oh, for sure. Care if you're in Sunday's vlog. <laughs> A fucking spaceship. <laughs> what is going on, guys? Welcome to this segment of the vlog. I'm currently editing the pictures and I'm really, really liking how they're turning out, so I figured I'd give you guys my tips and tricks on beginner photography. And I'm gonna be talking about rollers specifically because that is my favorite thing, hands down, to shoot. 
They turn out amazing and the client always loves how they look. So the first thing, I shoot on a Nikon D3400, which is pretty good for pictures. You get great quality, you know, it's only 24.3 megapixels, but it gets the job done. I mean, I am switching to Sony soon, but that is because the autofocus is absolutely god awful. And I do want to move into videotography pretty soon, so so Sony's just kind of the way I want to go right now. Anyway, we're going to get into the settings that you should be using and more tips for rollers. So the first thing, shutter speed. You're going to match the shutter speed at the rate the vehicle is moving. So we're going to go with like the most basic shot, which is like a quarter shot of you know both cars moving like this. And you're in the camera car, and the camera car is in the front, and the shot car is in the back, right? And you're hanging out the window at whatever angle you prefer. So say you're going 40 miles an hour. You're going to set your shutter speed to one over 40th, maybe a little or maybe a little less depending on how much movement of the picture you want because rollers are all about the car in focus and the ground and the background all blurry showing movement in a picture. That being said, moving on to your aperture, your aperture kind of depends on your camera setup because you can always use like an ND filter, which I have on the front, and that's like sunglasses for your camera. So you can use a wider aperture. When you're using a wider aperture, light gets led into the lens, and that makes for an overexposed picture, which you do not want, especially in rollers, because they will not look good. ISO, I always have it set to automatic. Your camera will do the best job. Speaking of ND filters, you can also get a circular polarizer, which will help cut out the reflection of the camera car. Here's an example. I was not using a circular polarizer in this, and you can clearly see the camera car in the background of the car. And really take as many pictures as you need, because the only person that's going to see them until they're done is you. I must go through like 250 to 300 pictures just to find like seven or eight good ones. But nobody knows that because I took as many as I needed until I got the fantastic shot. All right, anyway, these were just some super simple steps that I wanted you guys to take into consideration when you're shooting rollers yourself. And yeah, let's get right into the outro. I make sure my whole family is Zach here. I wasn't in this video. Sorry, we didn't make a video last week. We're trying, man. It's been raining so much, and it sucks, doesn't it? This is my Hawaiian shirt. I uh, It's my only Hawaiian shirt. Let me know in the comment section if it looks cute on me. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the informative video and the sweet vlog. Anything else you would like to add? Um, yeah, this is my only Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> All right, peace out. Oh shit! Oh wow, Bill.